Now, yesterday, when I flipped the Tiger game on, I did notice it was Shep and Gibby. And I think Gibby is so great at that job. I think Gibby is awesome at it. I love Gibby. Um, I'll just read this from the story. When Mickey York and Craig Monroe threw it to the booth Wednesday night for the broadcast Fox Sports Detroit's Tigers live pregame show, an unexpected duo appeared on the screen, that of Matt Shepard and Kirk Gibson. Conspicuously absent for the show was a regular tandem of play-by-play announcer Mario Pemba and analyst Rada Allen. Multiple sources told The Athletic that neither Pemba nor Allen were part of Wednesday's broadcast duo uh, due to a physical altercation between the two television personality following Tuesday's games in Chicago against the White Sox. It's not immediately clear what prompted the attack. According to accounts of those sources, there have been simmering tensions between Impemba and Allen, and the clash of personalities ultimately boiled over on Tuesday night. Incidentally, that's when our clash of personalities also ultimately boiled over. Um, both Shepard and Gibson have been brought in Chicago at last minute notice. Reach Wednesday. Fox Sports Story GM Greg Hammerman. Hammerman had no comment. Um, that's kind of it. Although sources said that Impemba and Allen have long been at odds with each other and that their drastically different broadcasting styles reflect a chasm in personalities. While it can work for a lively on air banner, it was often meant uh, at a much more often meant a much more contentious off air relationship. They're like an odd couple, so one person familiar with the dynamics of broadcast production. Okay, look. In, in jobs like these or a job like that every day, there's one thing that I, I can almost guarantee led to this. All the losing. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. Those jobs are so tough. Doing that for a, for a bad team. Every single day. Yeah, but they've been so good for so long. I know. I know. But I if they were still good, do you think this would have happened? I don't know. I mean, this there might have been, been tensions. Been, this, this, the, ten, the rumored tension's been there for for years. Like when the Tigers are good, the rumored tension was there. See, so never, I, I would I say I've never heard that, but I, w- I would I would say that um, I don't think the losing had a whole lot to do with it. Don't you? No. Plus they won Tuesday night. <laughs> well, I guess I just. Or was I don't this know. Tuesday I, night? Or what? I'm sorry. I don't think that helps the situation. Let me start with that. I think that puts everybody. Everybody's skin gets a little thinner. I, I I did not see this coming, didn't know it was coming. I actually like both guys. I think they both do a really good job. But, wow. I'm with Gator. I don't think the losing has anything to do with it. I mean, there, for me personally, I've heard kind of rumblings for a while that, you know, sometimes you just don't get along with someone you work with than necessarily off the air, even if you sound great on the air, right? And so... As far as the losing is concerned, yeah, I don't think it had anything to do with the fact. Cause otherwise, it, this should have started earlier. Well, Man, they've been sucking all year long. <laughs> I know. I just think it, it puts everybody on edge. Did they win Tuesday, Gator? Uh, yes. Yeah, because they won last night, which was Wednesday, and Tuesday, yes. Eight to three, they won. See, they maybe won. one guy's for tanking, the other guy's not. <laughs> <laughs> that could lead to tension at two to six. I know right, that. Right. Um, well, here's the other thing that you look at with the baseball. See, like We think about it immediately with our jobs. You and I have been doing the job together for 11 and a half years yes uh we've only fought physically five or six times right we get along pretty well um but we also get a break on saturdays and sundays and we also have vacation time during the course of the year um, when we have time off they, obviously they have time off when the off season yep but they're working every single day i mean sometimes it's you know 20 20 out of 20 days they're working they get a day off every week, every 10 days they get a day off. That's a lot. That's an awful lot. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not making excuses for it. I'm just trying to under, I, I think I can understand where that comes. When you work with somebody that closely for that long, things can happen. Um, but they, there are plenty of people that get along and, and make it work. There are plenty of people that don't get along and make it work. And they had made it work for a long time. And now we're hearing this report that this happened the other night. Um, I'm, I'm not surprised. The, the part surprises me about this story is where it says, uh, a physical altercation between yeah, they, the two they television apparently personnel. fought. So that's the part that kind of surprises me. An altercation verbal would not surprise me. You know, voices being raised, expletives flying back and forth, 
whatever. That's a does that I would expect. I expect Second that. deck. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> but the physical part, that's what surprises me. And I don't know if the story will ever get out, but boy, am I intrigued by this. And and I don't and I'm not like actually, licking my chops and laughing at it because I like you, I like both of those guys feel, a lot. I feel you know, bad kinda, for both of them to be honest. Don't with know you. them well, but when we see we're very cordial with each other. When we see each other, when we see you know, Rod and Mario at spring training, they're always very nice to us and talk to them every time I'm at the ballpark. You know, walking through the hallway there in the press box and see Rod and Mario always saying hi to each other. I you know this is it's kind of surprising to me and yeah I want to know more. Yeah, well. I'm sure they're not happy that this got reported. No. Um, and I feel bad. I feel bad to, that this actually happened. Um, Physical altercation could also mean, like, just shoving, too. I mean, it doesn't yeah, have to come to oh, blows. I, I know, you know I mean? but that's still yeah to get to that yeah, physical, point. Yeah. But, I mean, was this thing an all-out, you know, Conor McGregor fight? Or was this, uh, <laughs> hey, he shoved me and then someone got in the way. That's enough, guys. You guys are off for tonight's game. You know? I think we're going to get a lot of Shep and Gibby for some time here. Yeah, we could see. Uh, I think some some Craig Monroe. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We'll see. I, I hope they can work it out because what about I, Keating. I, they didn't call Keating. Well, Keats Keats can do Keats can do whatever he wants. Keats is awesome. What if Keats was calling this fight? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I, I don't want to do that. Make fun of this, man. I mean, I do and I don't. Of course, I want to do that, but I don't think it's appropriate. I don't think it is either. <laughs> yeah, because that stopped you before. <laughs> This is not appropriate at this time. <laughs> um, Shep and Gibby will have more. <laughs> just stop. I'm going to stop because I don't. I don't like this. It, this is this is bothersome to me, and um, I hope. I honestly hope they can work it out because I, I, I think Rod and Mario do a really good job of the I game. Too. I enjoy the breakups when you. Maybe the the word. I enjoyed the breaks when you get. Gibby in, in there too because I'm a huge Gibby fan. Was a yep. huge Gibby fan when he and uh, Josh Lewin did the uh, the broadcast, and just personally, I love Gibby. So can't they? Can't we all just get along? Yeah, I, I hope they can find a way because I think they do a really good job. They, so I, to me, it's a sad story. It is a sad story, and again, I hope that they I hope they sort it out. Um, but we'll see what happens. All right, Super Bowl, Super Bowl Fifty Three. We're kind of late here. To, to get to it, do you have your picks in? You you ready? Oh, I know who's going. Okay. And you know who's winning? Yeah. Okay, the most interesting one of these is, I mean, I like to think that, you know, the show is Karsh and Anderson, and, you know, we sit in the studio, and our, our producer plays a very, very, very important role in the show. But he also went out a limb three weeks ago and said the Lions are going to the Super Bowl this year. So I think people are waiting with bated breath to find out if he's just sticking with it. He planted the flag early. And once that flag gets planted, do you leave it there? Because over the last few weeks, things have not gone his way. So I'm, I'm intrigued to find out if our guy Kang behind the glass is, is sticking with it. Do you think he's sticking with it? <sighs> no. Okay. No. And, and, and I, I don't think he will either. And, and, and he shouldn't? <laughs> Let's just say that he should not. He's not. He, but here's the thing: he's not one that flies off the handle and just makes I statements know. like that. To, this wasn't bold ass predictions. But things have changed. He, he's the not division. Captain Hot Take. That's not I his know. thing. Things change. The things did change. With things him. change. Yeah, but it changed. In the the only thing that changed really is that the team behind Detroit added something. But Does he think, think the Bears is going to the Super Bowl now? Things have, well, all, what is. that means is that there's a, a player within the division now that you're going to have to play twice that could damage your quarterback. All right, so we want your predictions. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Who do you think is going to the Super Bowl? We got sidetracked there, so we'll have ours in five minutes. We'll come right out of the gate and we'll start knocking down your phone calls. Super Bowl picks: AFC winner, F NFC winner, Super Bowl winner. Ninety seven won the ticket. <laughs> 